Good morning everyone from the beautiful town of Exlau. We have like 100 kilometers to cover. I have an accommodation in a camping. This is a bungalow. 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 I don't know. A bit of adventure because I don't know what to expect from the bungalow. I had a really great night. I slept like 8 hours which is unusual for me. Right now it's a bit foggy all around. I will have my breakfast. Then we can go and life is good. See you in a bit after breakfast. Because I plan a relaxed day for today, I thought that I will show you my average day because we have only like five days left and it's not much. It feels good to ride. So these are the stuff what I'm doing every single day. Let's start with an interesting one. I guess you know that we have these padded cycling shorts. I guess you didn't know that this part is called the chamois. You have something called the chamois cream. It has some antibacterial effects, but the main reason to use this is that it decreases friction even more between the chamois and your bottom parts. This is for rainy conditions. It gives the reason that it has the consistency of rather wax. How to apply it? Maybe this is not the way how to do it, but how I am doing it. I get some chamois and I just spread it really lightly over the parts where I'm sitting on the saddle. The good thing with this is that it can prevent saddle soreness. I haven't had saddle soreness during the trip. And actually it, it smells kind of good, so it's an additional bonus. Okay, now at some places I have a bit too much, but this is not a problem. I need to change. But before, I would like to show you what am I taking every day. I have magnesium. I'm taking like 400 milligrams every morning. Some pills for my joints, prevents the wearing and such. It's good. Sometimes I'm taking vitamin C because it's always good to have vitamin C. And that's it, basically. And by the way, this is how I'm organizing the stuff. Here comes the tricky part to pack everything, what you can see here. I need to pack it into three bags of mine. I will give myself 30 minutes for this. By the way, before I used it in a wrong way, so you are not putting underwear under your biking pants. This is a really important thing. If you are wearing underwear as well, then the chamois is like not working. Okay, so 30 minutes starting now. I'm finished basically and, and it was only 15 minutes, so I'm really good. I'm a lot better in packing than before. I tend to put on the extra luggage first. By the way, here I have all my clothes. Here is all the food and such. Here's the electric stuff, uh, drone, laptop, something. If I really need to leave the bike outside, then I can just bring that one and that's almost enough. Let's put it together and then we can leave. Everything is packed and ready for departure. You go on top. Exactly like this. We can go now. So we should because it's half past ten. But I think it will be a relaxed day. So let's go. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Lynch, Lynch, yeah. Go and catch me, baby. Yes, it is the ferry again. I really like this ferry. It looks gorgeous. The flag is a bit out of shape. There was a rope, I mean wires, to the other side. How they could transport things and part of this wire is in a museum in Paris. Really nice, I'm impressed. So today we are going through Linz. I don't really like big cities because they slow me down really bad. We'll see. But the ferry, <laughs> the ferry is very, very, very good. Turn it up, turn it up on a higher level. Turn it up. By the way, it is kind of weird to hear people saying servus as a greeting all the time. I thought that it is some Hungarian stuff only. Servus. We, we have a history with Austria, if, if you know what I mean, the monarchy and stuff. This word was adopted by Hungarians, I guess. 
Normally, I'm packing sandwiches from the breakfast. Sometimes it's allowed, sometimes I don't really know. But now uh, I have pre-made sandwiches. Those are not that good, what I create. But I have them, so I will eat them. And today's breakfast was really small. This is what I am eating. Two hours later. Wow, finally I left Linz. It was not a particularly interesting city, but people just started to cycle like normally cycle at first the group just passed me by within the city and i thought that oh no they are too fast for me i catched up and we did around 33 kilometers per hour average and it was really nice Break it down like this. I was sad but they left. Finally, some real riding. Actually, I started to sweat a bit. Actually, that ride was so nice that I thought that I will celebrate with a bit of beer. I will not go really fast from now on. Although this ride was really nice, really nice. Let's see you later when I made some other progress as well. You better grab a tambourine. Bring a bass, we might be weak. The pace is okay, although the headwind is just killing me. Major drawbacks with cycling if you have a strong headwind. I just removed this, so maybe you can hear it. See that my bungalow. Later. So finally I'm here. This is the camping. And, and this is my own territory this is my bungalow three meters by two meters or two meters by two meters i think i don't have the wide enough lenses but i mean it's it's more than enough and we have the shower here so that's perfect now i will show you how i'm taking off my stuff let's take them off we can have something to eat mangiare molto mangiare this bungalow is so big that even the bike fits entirely easily that's it for now, I will have a shower and we can search for some food, which is great. She agrees. Three hours later. This is my flat from inside. I did the shopping. I don't need to do it in the morning, which is good. I have cash, but I'm not able to find any decent accommodation. I don't know yet what will happen. One thing is for sure that this is the end for today. And see you tomorrow.